The COVID pandemic has forced extensive changes to how we live and work. While some of these will hopefully never be repeated, others look set to endure. In particular, companies' employees have learned how efficient and flexible remote working can be. Meanwhile, almost everyone has benefited from the convenience of purchasing goods and consuming entertainment online. These developments have been made possible thanks to the unstoppable trend of digitization. And as innovative technologies continue to advance, e-commerce and alternative working patterns should become even more appealing. We believe this has implications for investors in a whole range of assets rather than just in technology companies. Among them are many real estate properties around the world, especially in the industrial and office sectors. While e-commerce replaces shop floors with web pages, its physical real estate needs are still enormous. Warehouses, distribution and fulfillment centers, and other industrial properties are integral to getting goods delivered rapidly to our front doors. Over the coming years, we expect e-commerce to account for a growing share of total retail globally. In the US, for example, e-commerce could rise from 20 to 25% of sales between 2020 and 2025, and from 18% to 25% globally. To enable this, an unprecedented increase in related real estate investment will be required. Outside the US, there is especially strong demand in China, South Korea, Indonesia, and the UK. But while we see a bright outlook for e-commerce related properties, this will come at the expense of many traditional retail assets, such as regional shopping malls in the US. High levels of vacancies look set to persist in these places, intensifying the challenge for their owners. The world of work has never been so flexible. Following the largely successful experiment of mass remote working during lockdowns, many companies are rethinking how they operate. While some are mandating a full return to the office, others are embracing hybrid or even fully remote working. As a result, workplace activity in many global gateway cities such as London, Singapore, and New York City remains well below pre-pandemic levels. However, we are now seeing some signs of a turnaround in the office market. U.S. office absorption trends, or the amount of space taken less vacated, have been getting less negative and will likely go positive in 2022. One striking trend we're seeing is that of companies setting up in mid-sized U.S. cities with lower living costs and good amenities. Cities such as Austin, Dallas, Raleigh are creating increasing numbers of white-collar jobs that will require new office space. As technology, finance, and research firms continue to favor these cities, demand looks set to continue. With digitization transforming how we use real estate, we believe this unstoppable trend needs to be reflected in portfolios. As the e-commerce revolution continues, we favor build to core investments in related properties where developers build from scratch and then hold for the long term. Our preference is for strategically located properties that are well connected to the supply chain network. When it comes to offices, we like strategies from specialist managers who are focused on premises in faster growing cities. The real estate landscape is changing. Is your portfolio ready for what comes next? <laughs>